Studio design is one of the Saka 5. In matter of fact, it's the first of the Saka 5. And they lead the second wave in the development of Japanese savage. Let's do a review of one of the genes and let's talk a little bit more about Studio Artisan. See you inside. Studio Artisan SD108, but before to review these genes, let's talk about the brand itself. Let's go back in time, 60s, 70s, social revolution in Japan. The American denim became one of the symbols of that revolution. A clothing companies seeing the niche, uh, uh, the gap in the production of denim, they decided to start to produce in American denim or Ameri uh, in American style denim. At the beginning, they used uh, um, savage uh, denim import from USA, but being not enough, they think they on they thought the only solution was to produce Japanese savage denim. Kurawa was the first company to produce this denim. Then the initials or, or the starters of this the, the Japanese savage uh, market was uh, Big John, Canton Denim, and um, Edwin. Then we need to talk about the second wave of the, uh, the production. This, uh, this 60s, 70s, the, uh, create denim heads. These denim heads used to be collector of mostly of Levi's 501 and Lee jeans. The, most of them know the characteristics. One of these denim heads was uh, Sigeraho Tagaki. Sigeraho or Sigeraho Tagaki. Sigeraho Tagaki was an avid collector of Levi's 501, and not only that, he you know, we moved to France to learn about the uh, fashion, and, and when he uh, came back, he started a company uh, in, back in 1979 in Osaka, it was a studio art design. <clears throat> he developed in 1986 the first denim in-house. has a characteristic studio art design. It was the first of the Osaka Five. Osaka Five is formed by Denim, uh, Abiso, Full Count, and Warehouse. It was these are the second wave on on the, the denim revolution in Japan. Don't forget about this because some people say where they are the, they were all star. No, they all start with Big John Canton and and uh, Edwin. But anyway. He is the first of uh, the second the second wave of uh, denim revolution in Japan. They has one characteristic, one special characteristic. They released the first in-house uh, uh, jeans uh, developed by uh, Tagaki. It was a straight line, a DO1. It was a straight um, fit with the cinched back and has more of the characteristic of, of the denim from the 40s and the 50s because it was really, really knowledgeable on, on that being a collector, they know every detail. If you like street fit, I only recommend to take a look in these jeans because it's one of the kind. Uh, and let's go back to this denim. Uh, nowadays, um, a studio art design it doesn't belong anymore to Kagaki. Kagaki uh, Tagaki stepped down back in 1995 and was the, the, the company taken over by Odawara. And after that, he stepped down and was uh, now the CEO is Fushikawa. Uh, what about this company then? They not only produce denim, the philosophy of this is keep the old fashioned way to produce denim and mix with Japanese, uh, um, traditional Japanese way to produce clothing. With the results, I strongly recommend to take a look in the, in the Studio Art Design website. You're going to see their beautiful uh, piece of clothing that they produce. Uh, but let's jump in into these uh, jeans. The SD100 series is a modern interpretation of the old style denim. In this case, this uh, uh, SD108 is a relaxed tapered fit. To me, according to the measurements, is more uh, a slim tapered fit. Mm, but let's see the, the, the gene itself first and then let's um, do the measurements and see what we're talking about here. These are 15 ohms, raw denning with one wash and some for iset and one wash, one really, really, really aggressive wash. You can see the 
the leather um, patch is, has a shrink. It's that aggressive to wash. There's one thing with this uh, kind of the jeans that you need to be very careful. Is the size is not the best way to pick the jeans. You need to take the measurements of the best fitting uh, jean and compare with the measurement that offer uh, in the website uh, Studio Art Design before to pick the jean because you can make a mistake. The sizes are not, uh, are not very accurate in terms of measurements. This is size 36. Let's see here. 36, eh? SD 108, 36. Uh, and there's another thing, due to this aggressive um, how it's wash and be and some for ice it, the, mm, there is a big difference between between uh, each uh, between the measurements in the same size. Then could be a little bit tricky, but uh, let's see. Let's see how the things are first. Outside, we have high um, we have copper rivets. As you see here, copper rivets. Yeah, these are the copper rivets. These are the the um, hardware is the hardware is iron buttons, no donut junk buttons. Okay, these are the buttons. Uh, has bell loops are yeah. the bell loops are rice and bell loops. Yeah, if I can appreciate, they use two color of the thread. Here is the best example. You see, yellow, yeah? the bar tag in here in yellow, and this is gold or orange. It's a really nice detail. I, I really like the detail. The, um, the fifth pocket or the clock or coin pocket has salvage inside, blue salvage. You can see here, uh, the levels to our design here. Okay, then it has in the crotch. Look at the crotch. This, this is a good detail. It's yellow, 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 and orange or gold, and yellow. Bar tacking, bar tacking, okay? Now I can see, bar tacking, bar tacking. Nice, there, bar tacking. Remember, it's one wash. This is very important. The but uh, the pockets, but pockets, okay. The bad pockets got the shape and the color. There is orange, orange and yellow. The rest. It's very interesting. Unline it. Are unline it. I like this detail because uh, the the fourteen ohms. This is fifteen ohms. Fourteen ohms of iron heart are aligned the pockets. And to me, it's a nice detail. Anyway, um, then. The bar tacking, the bell loops are very nice. The gold leather patch with the two peaks. Yeah? The two peaks are exclusive for from from uh, Studio Art Design SD one hundred eight. Let's see inside. Look at this. This is a clean. Well, there are some twists in the leg. This is result of the. Of the way it's with the the cloth and the washing, it's both things lead to this. This is a clean, clean, really clean. It's a hairy denim. I don't know if you can appreciate. It's a hairy denim. Huh? It's a hairy denim. I don't know which is the mill that produced for them. The according to a studio design is a, a very well known mill. But well, this is what they say. Let's see inside how things are. How things are. Okay. Because in back, we are already in the back then. We have hidden rivets, copper hidden rivets are, eh, are stamped with the brand and the bar tacking. Okay, hidden rivets. Then Look at this the chain stitch, chain stitch with two colors of thread, yellow and orange. As you can see, it's all the, the, the chain stitch in that way. Simple stitch here, the label to our design. Fantastic so far, so good. 
the pockets are very deep pockets, very deep pockets, which I like it, and the tweed is very thick, very thick. It's uh, enough for 15 ounces, but it's really nice. The selvage is not that wide. It's a blue selvage, okay? It's a blue selvage. The hem has bar tacking too, a bar tacking, so it's a um, chain stitch. And inside, that is when this anti frying uh, stitching, the chain stitch and the, the other stitch to seal this and good and give a good uh, um, termination. The yeah, the fly. Okay, we have four buttons. Four buttons are not stamped inside. Has no stamp inside. Are not salvaged in the in the fly. It's a really good finish. There are some loose threads, but it's, this is part of the uh, anti-frying um, stitching. Okay, but the other is quite clean. It's really well well finished. It's really well finished. Really well finished. And so far, so good. I miss anything, anything at all? No, I don't think so. Now, let's take the measurements, which is very important. If we try to pick a... a, a and then you know this brand or any 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 Japanese brand or any salvage that you're making in, in a, online, you need to know how to measure this this uh, jeans to know what's the best uh, pick the best size because I few few times I am uh, sending back to because we were too small or too big. I I have to do this from this side. Let me see where is my tape. Here is my tape. Okay. Here is my tape. Waist first. Let's see how is the waist. Size 36 and the waist is 18.4. 18.4. I see the front rise and the back rise. Front rise is 11. That means it's medium, medium rise. It's not high rise. For high rise, need to at least have 12, and in the back need to have 16. And the back rise is 15. It's a medium rise properly. Let's see now the tights. Uh, how relaxed is this? This is 13, 13 inches in the tight. For me to be relaxed, it need to be 14 or 13.5, 13.5, uh, and between 13.5 and 14 inches to be relaxed for me. This is more uh, um, a slim, a little bit roomy fit. Uh, knees. Is nine inches. Uh, I remember I have a slim fit. I'm going to tell you my, my measurements. I uh, um, have 184 centimeters of height. My weight is 94 kilograms, and my chest is 44 inches. Because uh, my complexion, I have a slim fit, a slim legs. Uh, but if you have normal legs, uh, 13 uh, is is a slim fit. It's very slim fit. Let's see the hem. The hem is 7.5 and the inseam, you see how much they are shrinked. The inseam is 33.4. One note re relation to, to the to the um, measurements and the fitting of these jeans. Uh, in a recent interview, um, the people from the Studio Art Design say they have not developed yet a proper uh, measurement for a Western uh, Western market. Is they are more orientated, orientated to the Asian and Japanese market, but they are working on to try to um, change the, the the pattern of the size to be more uh, oriented to a Western market because they have started to having more in, in uh, penetration in that market than. Uh, be aware of this. Uh, the size are the jackets is 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 a shame because they are sashiko jackets are really good, really nice, 
but the measurements are for the Japanese body. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I have bought two of these, the 44 uh, and 44, 46 are almost uh, a slim fit for me in terms of jackets. Then need to be an, an update of the patterns for this, but be, be aware of uh, about this, because if you want to buy one of these, you decide one of these, maybe you're gonna struggle with finding your right size. Anyway, these are really good jeans. I think the, the, the characteristics are really good. The pockets are aligned, that's for some people very important. I say before, I think, if I remember correctly, but just to say again, um, and let's go for a fit and see how fit on me and final thoughts. See you outside. Okay, this is how fit the Stuart Design SD108, okay? And my hands easily in the pockets, very deep as, as I like it, okay? The front, this side, okay? I wear boots, I only cuff once, the back, okay? The other side, I wear no belt, and I put one finger, still have good space for one finger. Now it's the time of the final thoughts. But before give my final thoughts, please, if you like this channel, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, help me to grow with this channel. And thank you so much so far for your, your support. One thing about these jeans, construction wise, it's really good. The denim, I really like it. It's rough, it's not smooth, uh, it's uneven has some kind of lubiness. If you like this kind of the, the jeans, um, I think it's a good choice. Are not super expensive and very affordable. If you go to uh, Denimio or Inoya, Inoya, you can find a really, really good uh, prices. The downside is still need to work a lot of the sizing. Remember, this is 36. Uh, I think they do 40 as a, a bigger size, but they are working to try to provide um, a sizing for the Western market. Uh, are other better than other options? I don't think so, but it's one more than you can choose. On depend now in the fit, if you like this fit or the other fit. Uh, I strongly recommend to take a look in D01, I really strongly recommend to take a look in the one. Looks very nice, and that has uh, extra sizes for for bigger bodies. Uh, see you on the next, and thank you so much. Bye.